till now what do we know about the what happened we don't know much actually because the actual investigation is on hmm. and uh, they have uh, got the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder so i mean they have to open it and they have to study it the uh, transcripts and all and the etc transcripts also they have obtained hmm. so all we know at this point of time is that the touchdown was late because that is a uh, the etc information hmm. and which was what we understand is more than 3000 feet Hmm. The actual three thousand or four thousand or two thousand that will come out once the everything is decoded. Hmm. So, so late touchdowns because it was a nine thousand feet runway, which is hmm. a fairly long runway. I have been saying all along hmm. because it's not a small runway. Like for example, Patna is a six thousand feet runway. Hmm. Now this is a nine thousand feet runway, which cannot be considered a small. It's a core D. Hmm. The, in fact, the IKO NX fourteen hmm. is called core D uh, runway. Hmm. Now in this, and this is a Code C aircraft. Mm-hmm. So, and the grading is like A, B, C, D. And uh, the D is bigger to C. Mm. So, under the circumstances, mm. uh, it is fit enough, or uh, more than fit enough for a C Code uh, Code C aircraft. So, basically, so, it is only one uh, smaller than only one type. There are Code A, B, C. So, yeah, this is C. But this is fit enough for bigger type. Uh, so, a smaller type uh, cannot complain of the. Length of the runway. That right. is what the point is. Huh? Right. Now, so if you let uh, touchdown late, I mean any runway. I mean suppose it's a twelve thousand feet runway. If you touch down late, or say you touch down at eight thousand feet, then you can have problems. So basically, so, basically he should, they should have. The, and what does a? Can you explain to like a normal person like me, sir? He what? Can't explain much. For huh. the moment, I mean the only fact that we know it is a late touchdown. And obviously the aircraft has skidded. I mean, it's gone beyond the runway, uh, gone gone beyond the runway and uh, area uh, safety area. There, that is also a big rectangle. That is a uh, 240 cross uh, uh, 90 square meters and all. So it's a big rectangle. But that is Arden area. So aircraft should have stopped there, but it has gone even beyond that. Mm. So, uh, but fortunately for us, it has not gone far beyond. It has just gone ten feet ahead of it, mm-hmm. and there, and there after, obviously, with the impact, it has broken into three parts. Mm-hmm. It could have gone even further, mm-hmm. but it has been worse. So that is where it stands at this point of time. But so, anyway, uh, all these facts, all these, uh, the real truth will come out once the investigation is done by AIB. Uh, which is the body which usually investigates? Yeah, that is a specially designated body because in the IQ structure, the International Civil Aviation Organization basically hmm. it has to be an independent body, hmm. other than the DGCA. DGCA is a safety regulator, hmm. so I mean DGCA becomes a stakeholder in this case. Hmm. Hmm. So now an independent body has to carry out the investigation, and they have to tell. They can find fault with the DGCA. Hmm. They can find fault with the airport authority also, hmm. but the airport operator. So, hmm. uh, the time will tell. So, but the short point is that uh, this uh, aircraft accident investigation bureau, which is an entity entrusted with the responsibility of carrying out the investigation, they will come out with their findings based on that. So, uh, who is who is heading that, sir? Uh, is uh, Mr. Handa. Mr. Handa is a Air Force officer. Who is currently with the government of India? He is a joint secretary rank officer. He is heading that bureau. Uh, okay, so it's a Air Force officer. Yeah, Air Force officer. And sir, uh, this you know, a lot of people are pointing out. You are talking about how it's not a small uh, runway; it's a great C one. But people point out that you know the problem with Calicut was that because of the shape of it, because it's a table top. No, then, no. Uh, uh, again, answer. Try to answer that. Yeah. Hmm. One of your former uh, channels. Hmm. So basic point is that you don't do away with tabletop runways. There are tabletop runways all over the world. And again, I reiterate and repeat, it's not an Indian innovation. Indian innovation means it's not only for meant for us. Like the one international airport that is Kathmandu Main Airport is a tabletop runway. Hmm. So they have not closed it down. So hmm. similarly, even in United States of America or Europe or all over the world, there are tabletop runways. Hmm. So now, what do you do? If you have a tabletop runway, you design a flight procedures. Flight procedures means that how do you uh, navigate your aircraft into these runways? So uh, these are very well prescribed and defined procedures, and they lay down the uh, way way of doing it. 
And so there is just not an issue. 9,000 feet is a fairly long I can repeat. So should not be an issue. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, uh, you know, some of some of these people, sir, they've come forward like Mohan Ranganathan and other aviation experts. They've come forward and they've said that, you know, in 2010, 2011, many times people pointed out some things about and I know, sir, it was much before your time. You weren't in DGCA then. But is there any, I'm, I'm sure you would have dug up on all this and yeah, you must have. So what do you, what do you, what do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah, simple point is, simple point. That, that time when the investigation and the inquiry committee report came, that time the runway in safety area was not adequate. So the, one of their recommendations was that runway in safety area should be appropriate or proper. So for that, it should be the, uh, the dimensions are 240 cross 90 meters. So airport authority after their due deliberations and carved out that 240 cross 90 meter of runway in safety area. So that, that was made, that's one. Then another thing was the strengthening of the runway, that PCN, payment classification number as they call it, the strength of the runway for taking the load of a heavy aircraft. So also that was also complied with. So the, all the recommendations that were there have been complied with and thereafter the airport has been functioning for, I think as a uh, international airport, it is functioning for last 14 years. Okay. 2006 it was declared a, in, in fact if you go back in history you will remember that 2006 it was only 6,000 feet runway. Hmm. Now you know, once uh, the obviously the, 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 the love for international airport in Kerala is uh, led to acquisition of land and the extension of the runway to 9,000 feet and all and thereafter it was declared an international airport. So, so all the recommendations or all of these people talked about, they yeah. were all incorporated. Most of, most of them have been complied with. Is there anything but that could have, been, have yeah. not have been complied with, but obviously there must have been reasons for which they were not complied with. Like what, sir? For example, there was one uh, arrester. Uh, they may talk about that. That they say that they should be have an arrester, but that was a substitute in case arrester means the soft ground and all hmm. on which the aircraft will stop. But right. If that was a solution given in case you don't have runway in safety area of the adequate uh, dimension. But since that was made, the runway in safety area of adequate size was made. So there was no need for the register part was set and therefore it was dropped. I see. And so, you know, I know that you've got the voice recorder, you've got the black box. Is there anything extra that we know from them? No, uh, at least I'm not the right, right person. In fact, Mr. Hanna will be that, uh, telling you. So, I mean, they have to study and obviously the ATC transcript and all other evidence and documents and the condition of the airport, the friction report, the rubber removal status, things like that. So, whether they have just slipped and all, everything, that they will get into every each uh, detail of it, every mm. they will study and after they will come out with their findings. And, and sir, I know that, you know, we don't know why, but what could be the possible reasons of a late touchdown, sir? No idea, no idea. It can't be speculated. I think let's leave it to the uh, was recorder and uh, uh, flight data recorder to tell us. Is anyone suggesting that it could be a mistake on anyone's? No, 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 no. Yeah, I think it's too premature and it will not appropriate. Thank you so much.